Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Charleston Southern Buccaneers and the San Diego State Aztecs. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Aztecs should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First of all, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Next, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Trying to go inside. The power forward takes the feed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's a double team waiting there. Number 32 makes the shot. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Dumps it in. Defensively trying to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Goes up for two. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Takes the shot. He gets it to go. Gave it up. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Duncan is feeling great right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. He shoots from the top of the circle. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as well as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. They look to get it to the inside. He's got a nice shot fake. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. The power forward takes the pass. They work it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. He gets the bucket. Trying to feed inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He goes to the line. He can't buy one. He hits his second. Defense! 
They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. He does the sweet fake shot. With the jump hook, the Aztecs have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. I wish they were the fouls. The coach not happy in the side. Moving it around the perimeter. The point guard with the ball. He shoots from right in the circle. You can't play the ball every single time. Boy, he learned that the hard way. Dump it inside. A little frustration right there. The point guard gets the ball. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. The power forward gets the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the key. Nope. Joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. On the dribble, gives it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. On the outside. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Entry pass in the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Kicks it out. Ten on the shot clock. Transition opportunity coming up. Oh, what a strip, Red. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots. He buries it. but elected to reverse the ball. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Step out on that screener. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. Get it out in the transition. He hammers it home. I need to see that again in slow mo. <laughs> the 
up and inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Top of the circle. Drains the shot. Turns it over. For two, perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Looks at a three. Knocks it down. Double team now. Bad angle. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I thought doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Gave it up. Good anticipation defensively. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries a three. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Fake on the inside. From left of the circle, he drains the shot. with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you front it. there he is strips the ball loose they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass off the pass. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. From beyond the arc, he nails the shot. That's a 7-0 run. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He shoots from outside. You betcha. Working it around the perimeter. Kicked off. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. Look at that spacing. Shooter spotting up on the three. Sinks it. In the paint, he pump fakes. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Nice fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. A terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the paint. They move it into the front court. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Steals a pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice shot. And they come with a double-T. 
team to stop it. He strokes it. Great shot. Outside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. Let's get another look, Brad. Guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Daniel, whistle blown, basket's good, and one. That's concentration, baby. Check out this young man, bro. He's taunting the opponent. He'll go to the line. Foul shot is not good. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. The fake. He's got a high post flasher. He comes away with it. He hacked him. Nice pop. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Let's it fly. That's good. Scorches the net. Dump it inside. There's a high screen. Great block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Looking for contact. Up and in. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Got a wide open look. Let's it fly. He makes the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent for guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. 
Got the shot if he wants it. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Entry pass in the paint. Fakes it. And he'll kick it back outside. Tries for two. Easy one. The Aztecs have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Sets the screen for his teammate. He gets it to fall. Attempts the trifecta, gets it to fall. Stop and pop. It's good. Opportunity for one. There's nothing like throwing down a dunk and getting the foul. Speaking from experience there, Dick? Of course. At the foul line. He hits it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Foul charge. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit side. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. Good fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Looking for a good shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's the three ball. Oh, yes. On the outside. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. From downtown. Sinks the shot. Shot clock is dead. That's basic. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Hard foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post flashes for the opportunity. On the dribble, gives it up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sinks it. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. Ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. It's a big shot. At the half, the Buccaneers are down by eight. What's your take on the EA Sports play of the half, partner? Play of the half? Buzzer beater, baby. You gotta love it. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half.
back in, third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up the event? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. it around the arc. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The center handles the feed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Dickey still applied great pressure on the dribbler. Good. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. And a momentary look from three-point land. He's money with the shot. He looks for three. Charleston Southern is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They work the perimeter. Daniel receives the ball. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. The Aztecs are ahead by five. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He posterized it. Another look. Number one set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on a defensive end of the floor. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. He attempts the trifecta. Goes in. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. He buries the shot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you a great post play. You got a chance to really win. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He puts up the three ball. 
Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Watch this again. Here's a flash from the post up high. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For the bucket. And he scores despite the hack. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. With the fake, he gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And off the mark. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post-play at its best. Time to pick up the defense here now. Here they go into transition. Moorhead draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Buccaneers will step to the line for the first time. He hits his first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Arm and foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. The center receives the pass. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Picked off. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. You bet you. Looking for a good shot. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. The ball goes out of play. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Got a man in high post. 
picks off the lazy pass. He fires from long range. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts it up. He hits the shot. Up and inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Defense did a great job with that block shot. You bet. The Aztecs are up by seven. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Vic. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Strips the ball. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, in and out. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For three, great shot. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Trying to draw some contact. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Gave it up. Chase handles the pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Great defense. Tries for two. Drains it. See if they can get a good shot this trip. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Dump it inside. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He gets it to go. Wow, that's worth the price of a mission. <laughs> Got a nice screen. He lets it fly. It's good. The Buccaneers are trailing by six. Take it away. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Rims out. 
Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? That's been moved. Not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Pressure that basketball. Takes it off him. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Yeah, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the high screen. On the outside. Look at a shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Steal. What a great strip. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And a momentary look from three-point land for two. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Dan. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. He intercepts it. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. There's the trap. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Steals the ball. And now in transition, going the other way. He hits it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. He gets the bucket to fall. On 
on the dribble gives it up here's a double team gets it back out he pump fakes the high screen picks off the pass almost lost the basketball he comes away with it gave it up goes up for two great play to take that to the basket That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. In the paint. For the deuce. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Intercepted. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'll work it around the arc. Stolen. He brought the ball back down. LaFleur and he stripped them. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dan. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He's whistled for his last foul. Hey, you gotta use your head, baby. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. On the outside. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Brothers, well, euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He goes to the line for the first time. No rebounding that. Makes it. Timeout's called. Time is not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. needed breather with that timeout. Nine points is the difference now. A difference that can change in a heartbeat if you ain't careful, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He'll visit the charity strike. Cashed it in. Makes his second shot. Look at that 
facing. He attempts the three. They should try for an early foul here. And the clock stopped with a foul. He is going to the line. Got it. He hits the second. It's a 10-point spread, Dick. Yeah, but 10 points can't be spread too thin, Rob. From downtown, drains the shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. He steps up to the line. Makes the foul shot. Gets his second. Shot clock is dead. From beyond the arc. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Aztecs played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. Good night, everybody.